Hello again everyone, this is Cynix, and I was just sitting around creating some little robot thumbnails for no real purpose, uh, but it's relaxed and it feels like every thumbnail I make brings me one little notch of experience closer to leveling up my Mechromancer skill. So speaking of leveling up, it's a brand new year. Yes, that great reminder that time is passing us by. And if you look out the window, you might see people jogging and getting in shape. Uh, probably not so many next week. Uh, but I wonder how many of you have made New Year's resolutions to draw more or become a better artist. I know that I've personally looked back over the past year and been fairly disappointed in my productivity. Uh, there wasn't that much art created, not that many videos, there were plenty of lulls without videos, so I need to try to fix that. Uh, but it's okay to be hard on yourself as long as you're only being negative about the past and not the future. Uh, don't ever be negative about your potential. I've kind of mentioned it before, but when it comes to art, there's no such thing as natural talent, only natural confidence. Um, and confidence is something you can find in yourself at any time. Uh, so never lose confidence in your potential to become better, because uh, that's really the one thing that will hold you back. Um, anyway, I bring this up because the new year is a time that reminds us to be hungry and driven to become better. And if you have that drive from the new year, don't let it fade. Um, and if you don't have it, try to find it. Um, we can, I guess, also call this drive as inspiration. Um, personally, I could probably look around the internet or find blogs and I could find a new artist every day that I've never heard of, uh, but they just blow me out of the water and suddenly I want to draw. It just inspires me like a wave of crazy good art and I just want to draw uh, the second I look at what they're doing because I'm, I'm competitive a little bit. I'm, I just want to be as good as them and that's kind of always what drove me to really go through growth spurts in my art career, my art history, my history of art rather. Um, so you know, find what drives you. It might not be the same as what drives me, but try to find it and try to hold on to it as much as you can. Um, so anyway, when you do improve, and hopefully you will improve, um, it feels great. You know, there's nothing quite as satisfying as being able to look back and feel like, okay, you're good at something, you've improved, you're, you're more confident in your ability to do at least one thing, you know, well. You can say that, you know, you can go into a crowded room and say, um, I'm good at art. That's what I can do that no one else can do. <laughs> Um, no, probably not like that, but it just feels good to be able to improve at something. Um, I guess a lot of us have played, you know, persistent video games, MMOs and things, and we know how addictive it is to level up or improve ourselves. And I think it's addictive because of how clear it is. We can always see that, that crystal clear path to improving ourselves, and it's always within our reach, getting that next level or improving, you know, whatever item. It's, it's just always is in reach. There's always a nice clear path. Uh, but meanwhile, when we're drawing, it's, it's not very clear uh, how long the path is and, you know, how we're going to improve. But we can't see the path, and sometimes we're not always sure if we're even on the path. We're like, I'm not even sure if I'm improving. I, I think I'm getting worse somehow. And, you know, that's, once again, just where positivity really comes in hand. It's important. It's so important, in fact, to just be positive about our potential. You got to... You got to at least believe that, you know, you're not magically different. You're not the one person in the world that can do something a lot and somehow not get better at it. Because uh, that's just, you know, kind of how things work. You're more accustomed to drawing. You're more accustomed to seeing art. Uh, your mindset will just understand it better and you'll become better at it. Uh, so just always remember that the more you're drawing, the better you're going to become. And I'm sorry if I made it sound a bit drab, like some hopeless cause, like, oh, just keep believing and getting better. Maybe some year you'll, you'll be a little better. Um, no, uh, art is something where you can improve at an amazing rate if you just put in a little effort. Um, during this year, in fact, 2013, uh, probably any one of you could become an amazing professional if you just focus completely on art. Just 
eating, sleeping. I don't know where I'm going with that, but I just focused on art every single day uh, to the point where you're just seeing everything in art terms and the world around you just looks like a painting all the time. And um, I don't know, just what makes up what you are. Uh, yeah, but also keep track of your work and try to step back as often as you can just to look at the bigger picture. I think one of the reasons why a lot of people improved really fast, like uh, having sketchbook threads on conceptart.org, was because every time you go to update that sketchbook, and you know if you're active, you're doing that like every day, and you're just looking at the work that came before us because you open your thread to post something new, and you're just seeing the work you posted when you started it and then you're looking through and you're seeing improvement in yourself and suddenly that path that we kind of talked about with video games you know it's kind of clear you see this improvement as it just goes and goes and goes um so yeah it's it's great to keep your old work and look at it on a regular basis try to figure out where your weaknesses are what you've improved on just kind of um try to understand it um, you might get frustrated when you're doing, you know, current drawings, uh, but if you're able to just look back on drawings from months before, uh, you'll be able to see that you've actually improved a lot. So uh, you might be frustrated, but that's probably because your standards have been leveling up just as fast as your skill level has been. Um, so, you know, try not to let it set you back or kill your drive or anything like that. Sometimes, in fact, your standards might be improving faster than your skill level. Uh, but just remind yourself that your skill level has indeed been improving. Um, so I don't have, you know, a magic formula for improving um, other than just, you know, telling you to be observant and staying hungry and inspired. Um, obviously, the, the kind of things you practice are really going to be you're going to have to figure them out and tailor them for yourself. I wanted to get better at mechs uh, when I was starting out, so I would just draw these simple little, I don't even know how to describe them, but simple little like geometric shapes. And I would do them in perspective, and I just kind of do these same, they were kind of like triangular shapes, but they were 3D. And I would just do them over and over again, and I would do them differently. I would mess with the design just a little bit, and it helped me out with a few things. It helped me kind of decide on what kind of detail type things uh, make something look better. Because if you're always drawing the same kind of similar shape, um, it makes you kind of really start thinking about how you can improve it uh, with like paneling lines and stuff like that. So that really helped me out um, to improve in mech design type stuff or industrial design. Uh, but obviously most of you probably don't want to specialize in just industrial design stuff you want to do other stuff um, so you're just gonna have to figure out you know what things to practice to make you better at that and um, obviously a lot of people just want to draw a lot of character stuff so just fill pages with gestures fill pages with faces you know the same way I'm filling a page of these thumbnails just fill a page with uh, different expressions different uh, figures and practice all that stuff practice just hands fill a giant page with hands I've done that many times and it's it just helps you feel like you're improving at such a great rate um, so yeah the lessons you learn through your own observations are just gonna be far more significant than the ones that other people can teach you or that I can you know kind of relate to you if you if you just kind of grasp it on your own terms it's just gonna mean so much more to you uh, but anyway, I don't know where I'm going with this tangent. I guess it's just because a lot of people still commonly ask, you know, how can I improve fast? And with this new year and just resolutions and everyone wants to improve, you know, I just thought I'd try to, I don't know, talk about it a little bit. Um, but I guess that's about it. And I'll knock off this video stuff for now. Uh, I hope you guys have a great 2013. We'll probably be trying to do a lot more videos. For some reason I had this idea in my head uh, when I started doing Design Lab that I just I would just wait between the different parts of the video just to kind of not upload anything else just because I didn't want things cluttered or something. I don't know. It was a really stupid excuse. Uh, but I'm definitely going to be uploading a lot more stuff this year. Uh, and hopefully it'll be more productive and I'll see a lot of you growing and going through your artistic growth spurts. I've already seen, you know, some people who watch these videos improve it. 
um, just a great raid. Just over the past months, I've seen people uh, become way better. People like Lou Dues, to mention someone blues. He's become a lot better. Uh, but there's a couple other people too. Uh, so, you know, it just, it can happen fast. Just work at it. Just draw a lot. Uh, but anyway, have a, have a great 2013, everyone.